Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. This time I want to use my leftover to make a flower. And yeah, I used this color for a different pour. And then I thought, I just make a flower with the rest, with the less leftovers. So here you see me pouring my resin into the mold. The mold is the Geode Coaster mold from Molds and Shapes, and it's a decent um, size of the coaster. So I thought it would be nice for the flower. So I put in my clear resin and then I'm getting my heat gun. I'm sorry that it takes a little bit. I needed to connect it and I'm just seeing that I'm popping some bubbles which are on the surface and that I also take out some bubbles which are trapped on the bottom of the mold. You see it here with my dotting tool. Always be careful doing this and also by using the dotting tool, please um, make sure that you don't scratch your mold. So now I'm using a resin ink and this is the color yellow. And I'm, yeah, dropping four drops of the yellow into the mold. And then I'm going further with a, yeah, sort of aqua color. It's a blue color, also four drops. And then I'm again using the yellow. I'm just going with the flow by um, making my design for the flower. And I'm dropping also the yellow on top of the blue color. So it turns out a little bit green, but I'm quite curious how it's gonna be on the other side. And in the center, I do the same. I'm just dropping the sort of aqua color onto my yellow. There's my resin, my white resin, and I'm pouring out of a cup. I mix the resin only with the angel white pigment paste. You see me doing this very often, and now I'm pouring the spiral very slowly into my little mold. Really taking my time. I'm not too fast in pouring. And there you go. <laughs> this is my spiral done. And now I'm smoothening a little bit the center with my dotting tool. And I'm starting with my flower design. No, I preferred, because I found um, I had also left over from my glitter and a little bit um, of the black shells. And I'm just pouring this into the center. And now I'm starting doing my design. I'm also smoothening a little bit my center. And now I'm just going from outside in. Four times. And then in each petal, again in the center from outside in. So I have, in fact, eight petals. And then again, I'm going into every petal. So there will be 16 petals. <laughs> you see, I'm always taking my time. I'm never rushing into the flower designs. And now I have 16 little petals and I decided to drag my dotting tool also from the inside out. So it gives a very pretty design of the flower. Yeah, I really enjoy doing the flowers. 
you always get a different result. And yeah, I also like to play a little bit around with colors and see what result I can achieve. And now just a little tiny swirl in the center, not much. I don't know if it makes sense because of my shell and glitter mix, but there you go. <laughs> now I'm just making sure that I drag a little bit my dotting tool where the yellow color is. You see it. And also on all the other sides. And that's basically my design done. So this is a close-up. I don't know what these um, dots are on top, but I think it's a glitter. But so far, I'm very curious. I love the yellow blending at the outer petals. And this is the next day and time for the molding. And I'm very curious how this turned out. It pops out very easily. It's still a little bit bendy, but it's fine. I was so curious how this flower will turn out. And let's have a look. And look at that. It's an unusual design, I think. It looks like paper, towel, uh, paper flowers, like you would um, craft, you know, flowers from paper. And I really love the design. I hope you love the design too. I hope you liked this little tutorial and I'm looking forward to your comments. And if you liked my video, a thumbs up. Take care, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.